He is the ancient Time Lord, Master Chrono. We have come to train under him to become Time Masters. Do you want to become Time Masters? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> but, but what is a Time Master? Okay, now remember... Ah, <sighs> we must train hard and pay attention to whatever Mr. Chrono tells us. You have traveled far and wide to seek the ancient and powerful knowledge of time, I see. <laughs> but being a master of time is not easy. You must work hard to get the secrets. Are you ready? Then your training begins now. Close your eyes, join your hands, and relax your mind. Time, as ancient and mysterious as our universe, tells us what to do when. Without time, this world would not be. Learn to respect time if you want to be respected in life. Now, where do we start? By learning about the hour, of course. <laughs> we know what an hour is, Master. The shorthand and the longhand together show the hour. Then tell me, kids, when the short hand is on the three and the long hand is on the twelve. Huh? What time is it? Uh, uh, uh three o'clock. Three o'clock. And when the long hand moves again from 12 and makes one full round, the short hand moves from three to four. Tell me how much time passes. An hour. Mm, so you do know what an hour is. Dee Dee has taught you well. But do you know what makes up an hour, kids? Uh, what do you mean? Dee Dee, care to explain? An hour is made up of something smaller. Look at those small marks. There are 60 such marks all over the clock. That is called the minute hand. When it completes one full circle across the 60 marks, we say one hour of time has passed. Now, remember those small marks? There are 60 such marks all over the clock. And in an hour, the minute's hand completes one circle. So, we can say that an hour is made up of 60 minutes. So basically, when the minute hand moves from one of these marks to the next, it tells us that a minute has passed by. And like I said earlier, there are 60 such marks. I hope you kids understand. When the minute hand completes one full circle, it moves over all 60 marks, which means 60 minutes pass in one full round of the minute hand. And when the minute hand completes one full round, an hour passes too, which means when an hour passes, 60 minutes also pass. So we can say that an hour is made up of 60 minutes? Ding, ding, exactly. But I see another hand. It's long and very thin, and it moves so quickly. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Now that is the second hand. It moves in the same direction that all the other hands of the clock move, but it is much faster. Uh, but what does it do? Hmm, patience, young one. Time cannot be learned in just a second. A second is the smallest measure of time you can see on a clock. You see, when the second hand ticks 60 times across each mark and finishes one circle of the clock, 
one minute has passed. Which means one minute is equal to... 60 seconds. And every time the second hand completes one circle, the minute hand moves from one mark to the next. So that means there are 60 seconds in one minute. And there are 60 minutes in one hour. Ding ding, you two. Oh, but that's so quick. Time is fleeting. It passes by in a blink. Which is why we must always make good use of our time. So now that we know all this, are we the masters of time? <sighs> if only it were such a piece of cake. Cake! Where? Where? Where's the cake? Thank you, O oh ancient Time Lord. We seek your permission to leave now until we return again in time. <laughs> <laughs>